So you just purchased a new Roxen Pro Camera Stabilizer, or you're thinking about getting one and you want to know what comes in the box and how to set it up? Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're covering in this episode of Otis Originals. This episode of Otis Originals is sponsored by Roxen. Cool gear for creative people. Roxent Pro is a high quality, low cost camera stabilizer that can make your video footage look better by smoothing out those bouncy and shaky handheld shots. Now the information in this video will apply to both the red version and the Midnight Black Limited Edition. So you'll be covered no matter which version you have. Now what do you say we take a look inside the box and I'll show you how to put it all together. As you open the box, the first thing you'll find is this small pamphlet. So take a minute or two to read through it as it does contain some very important information along with several useful tips to help you get started shooting with your new Roxent Pro. The packaging feels like a really sturdy foam, so all the parts seem to be well protected during shipping. This first item out is the top section, or the top stage, as it's sometimes called. Here you see a rubberized section with some grooves, and this is where you'll mount the camera. On the underside of the top stage, you'll find five holes, and this is where you'll attach the handle. Next out is the bottom arm, a silver-colored curved section with a rubber gasket on one side, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And it also holds the bottom counterweights. There's a bolt on the bottom arm that holds the weights, and you can see here that there are three separate weights. And they're all held in place with a three-pronged tie-down nut. This next-to-last item is one of the most important. It's your handle and the stabilizer's gimbal. That's the metal ball head on top of the handle. There's a small side screw to tighten or loosen the gimbal, and it has a very comfortable ergonomic rubber grip on it. This last item is a small knurled knob, either red or black, depending on which version you purchased, and you'll see that it's actually a short bolt, and this is how it will connect the top stage and the bottom arm together. The first step in assembling your Roxxon Pro is to attach your lower arm to your upper stage. Now we do that by using that short bolt with the round knurled knob on it. It's very important at this point to note how to connect them. We want the lower arm to curve under the top section of the stabilizer like this. If you connect it like this, you will never be able to balance your stabilizer. It's also very important to note that this rubber gasket side should meet the front side of the top stage. It should not meet on the back side where it will meet metal to metal. So we'll attach the gasket side of the lower arm with the front section of the top stage using our short bolt. Now at this point I'd like to attach using the lowest hole in the upper arm. That gives me the most adjustability later for when we're balancing. I want to take just a moment to talk about your counterweights. Now these are the small weights you find at the bottom arm of the stabilizer. I've removed them for now because I wanted to show you that you're going to get three different weights of varying sizes. Now the reason that they're different sizes is that when you're learning how to balance your stabilizer, you'll be able to fine tune that balance by adding or removing a very specific amount of weight. But for now, let's go ahead and put them back on and attach them with the tie down nut. Now let's take a look at the hand grip and gimbal. This is the heart of the stabilizer and it's where all the movement takes place. But it's important to note that your gimbal, the ball head assembly you see here, comes from the factory unlubricated to keep it from making a mess during shipping. So before using your stabilizer for the first time, you'll need to add a drop or two of regular three-in-one machine oil to the gimbal. You can also use sewing machine oil if you happen to have some. In either case, it's very important to only use one or two drops maximum. Any more than that, and you can actually gum up the gimbal and prevent it from moving smoothly and freely, which is what allows a stabilizer to give you those flowing shots in the first place. So you simply add the drop or two of oil to the bare metal of the ball head section, and then move it around for a few seconds, just to allow the oil to cover all the interior surfaces. We're almost there. The last step to setting up your Roxxon Pro stabilizer is to attach the hand grip and gimbal assembly to the bottom of the top stage. Now if you look at the bottom of the top stage, you'll see five threaded holes, and in one of those holes you'll find a silver threaded insert. Now this insert will be moved back and forth among the five holes when you're balancing, and it allows you to screw the top of the gimbal and hand grip assembly into the base of the top stage. To move the silver threaded insert, simply use a small coin in the two slots and unscrew it. Move the insert to another hole, and then using the same coin, screw the insert into the new position. 
and now take the hand grip and gimbal assembly and tighten down this screw on the side. This will allow you to easily screw the top of the gimbal into the base of the stabilizer. And please remember that the only time that this locking screw should be tightened down is when you're screwing in or unscrewing the handle. The rest of the time, it should be loose, allowing the stabilizer to move freely. Oh, and one more thing. This is the front of the stabilizer. It's the direction your camera lens should be pointing and should face away from you. And this is the back of the stabilizer and should face towards you when you're shooting, just in case there was any confusion. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and setup of the Roxent Pro Camera Stabilizer. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comment section down below. And please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Otis, and I'll see you next time for more Otis Originals.